Hi guys, Susanna here from The Good Property Company. I am outside. There you go, can you see this house? If I go over to the street, you'll be able to see it and then we'll go all the way in. Right, this is a house I bought, oh, 2014. Do you see, there you go, mm, that one. <laughs> that is um, Ida Road. And I bought this, unfortunately, um, the person I bought it from, well, I didn't buy from that person, they, it was a repossession. And um, I bought it for, 120,000 and I spent a good old 20,000 pound on a renovation. It was a tenanted property and I've been looking at whether I might sell, um, I'm calling it the great British sell-off, uh, sell about two and a half million quid's worth of my properties just to, just to kind of um, um, uh, bring in more cash and pay down debt and have a very sensible loan to value. However, like any I might change my mind. So what I thought I'd do, um, we uh, show you around uh, and tell you what the, my experience is so far and then uh, tell you that I'm in two minds and it'd be great to hear your comments. Right, so this was bought for 120,000, 20 grand refurbed in 2014. Uh, we've rented it out ever since and it's made about 700 pounds a month net profit, which is super, uh, but I put it on the market to sell last, today's Sunday, last Thursday at 4.30, boom, five people viewing I've had five views already uh, I've got two answer machine messages that I haven't yet listened to and I do think that at least one of them is going to be an offer um, and the kind of people it's fascinating the kind of people come around viewing we've got a lot of first-time buyers because this is in a very trendy area so this area has gone as you might say nuts which is great uh, and I've put it on the market for 240,000 uh, and on Thursday at four o'clock and by the weekend we've had five years we've had four people who are first-time buyers of whom Two were single, two were in couples. One was a gay girl couple, one was a um, 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 man and a woman and she was having a baby. And there were two single people. And then the fifth, which I found really interesting, were, were two parents buying for their daughter who was in the late 20s. And actually, out of all those people, three, possibly four sets of people mentioned being helped by their parents. So it's clearly Banker Mum and Dad. And I did, did see a report the other day that, um, was it Banker Mum and Dad is the eighth biggest bank in Britain? Anyway, tell me in the comments below, should I keep it or should I sell it? I'm kind of tempted to keep now. Right, so here's, this is, this with my fantastic camera skills, here is how we dress a property uh, for sale. Uh, so as a rental, this was actually a bedroom, but as a buy to sell, we've just made it rather nice. So there's your living room and there's your, oops, I'll stay out your way. There's your lovely bay window. Um, come on through to the, um, there you go, hello, uh, to the living room. Well, this that was the living room. This is the kitchen. It's quite nice, isn't it? I <laughs> Actually, thankfully, we've kept the fire blanket up for the tenants. There you go. We just dress it rather nicely. I had loads of these IKEA cat, um teapots they're actually terrible at, um, at doing tea but they look really nice we actually it's really naughty we still kept the um that was when I was really skint um <laughs> I mean you know a fridge and a freezer together and honestly at the time in 2014 I was so blooming skint because I was buying houses like they were going out of fashion there was no way I could afford a proper fridge freezer so we just cobbled that together at the time and I'm slightly embarrassed to say it's still cobbled together. And here we show the dining room and then we actually pop in a second sofa. And the reason for that is we just want the the kind of live, kitchen dining area to feel very welcoming. I mean, a lot of people might take out the second sofa. The bathroom is kind of very bog standard, but I'll show you anyway. Um, we haven't done hardly anything to the bathroom apart from Ildi put in, there you go, some nice candles. Um, so it's, this is actually, a fairly bare develop, um, bathroom, normally we put a lot more in, but we really haven't needed to. And then come and see how we styled up for sale the main bedroom. There we go. It's quite nice, isn't it? And um, there you are. So do you see how it's light, airy, and then we've put in some candles on here, and then you've got, hello, can you see? There you go. So that's the main bedroom. Um, everything's white and we have the same white because there are different shades of white for all of our properties because we discovered that we were starting to have a problem by not having the same white and then all of our furniture is white and if you have a look this is the second uh, bedroom and again it's styled up. But do you see, it's quite low, because this isn't, I mean, this is a double bedroom, but it's quite small still. There's a, a wardrobe, there you go. But um, we, we don't have like big, thick, thumpy, heavy beds. So, 
question. <laughs> because I am, I'm a keeper by nature, even though I do a lot of buy to sell. Um, should I sell it? I bought it for 120, 20 grand plus that renovation, 2014. It's probably spent um, about a thousand pounds since. Maybe, a bit, well, maybe a bit more, but you know, not an enormous amount since. Or, um, sh uh, uh, and and I'm getting uh, five very interested, and I think at least one offer at 240 already. And so it's highly likely I'll get. Actually, oh, sorry, I'm just checking because we're going to go home now. I'm um, actually we're going to go to cafe. I'm just. Um, we're highly likely to get more than 240. Or we're likely to get 240 bang on sort of thing. We're certainly not going to get people trying to chip the price down. Or should I keep it? And it made about £700 net, net income a, a month. What do you guys think? It's a gorgeous conundrum to have. But at least for you guys, you saw how we style up properties for sale. Job done.